Hi, Polygon. I'm uh, Mike McWhorter. We're at PAX. I'm here with Jeremiah Slasko of BitCell. And we just uh, we just took a look at the PC version of uh, Scribblenauts Unlimited. Yes. So in the original Scribblenauts, you could uh, kind of write anything, and it would spawn objects. You could solve puzzles. In Super Scribblenauts, the sequel, you could uh, add adjectives to those. And then finally now, in Scribblenauts Unlimited, you're actually able to create your own objects and share them with your friends, and then use those objects to uh, solve levels and play the game. So that's why it's called Unlimited, because literally now the vocabulary in the dictionary is unlimited. When we first started doing the object editor, obviously there's the basic things of the cosmetics, you know, the you know, adding textures or colors and adding little, you know, putting decals on characters and stuff like that. But what's really, really fun is that we have this very robust scripting language that basically is a one-to-one -one analog of what our developers use. And so it's actually a light um, programming tool. So you can be like, you know, if if object explodes, then we'll, you know, create fishes or something like that. So back at E3, um, somebody's like, oh, can you make a unicorn shoot rainbow lasers? And I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know, but let's try it. Like, I'm, I'm like, I sure can, I never tried that. And so we actually went through the scripting language and I, we like, picked out exactly how to do that and it worked. And he was like, oh, okay, this is awesome. So the stuff, the kind of things you can build with the object editor, one of the things we saw today was a triceratops with a bunch of condiments attached to it. And it was yes. called a hot dog atops. Hot dog atops, yes. Yeah. And so all these objects, people are going to be able to share with each other. Perhaps. Yes, on yep. Steam Workshop. So that's a very exciting feature. Like Steam Workshop is using um, Team Fortress 2 and Civilization 5 and all those different games. So to kind of be part of that, there's only like, at currently there's like 12 or 13 games that use it. So to be part of that is really, really exciting for us. And, and to see that community with Steam and everything is, is, is totally awesome. So we're really excited for it. Okay, cool. Cool. Thank you. Thanks a lot.